Hi, everybody. So, uh, still working on the tail cone. So, as I mentioned in the last video, kind of making a little bit of a side adjustment. Kind of tired of working on wings. It's all there is. Uh, time to get back into the empennage kit and finish off the very last piece, which is the tail cone. Well, at least the very beginning of the tail cone. The, small, the first few pages is just fabricate pieces and work on the very uh, back sets of bulkheads. Actually, the, the continuing pages is just, okay, very back bulkhead, then the next set, then the next set. So here I'm working on the very back uh, bulkhead. Doing a little bit of dimpling. So it's, uh, it, this is where the instructions start to get a little bit interesting because, uh, you know, this is the location where there could be either be a tie-down ring for tricycle gear, or you could have a tail wheel if you wanted to have a tail dragger. So the instructions kind of have a little bit of both. Make sure you're watching which ones you're actually uh, applying because one page only points at one and one page only points at the other. So you have to be careful. I almost dimpled something in the wrong direction, uh, not thinking, because one section shows, oh, don't dimple these holes for a tail dragger, but dimple these holes uh, for tricycle gear. So if, you, if you're not paying attention, uh, you could either not dimple or dimple too many holes. Uh, you will have to pull out a, you can't use a Longeron set for all of them, uh, because these bulkheads are in a tail cone, right? So imagine two bulkheads with flanges pointing in opposite directions. I think they're ribs. They're just basically ribs. So you got two ribs with flanges pointing in opposite directions, buttressed up next to each other. Well, that's a tail cone, so it's getting smaller at one side and larger at the other. So one bulkhead, uh, its flanges will be past a 90 degree angle. Meanwhile, the other uh, bulkhead will have flanges that are complementary to that so that they form a straight and flat uh, surface because the skin's going to go on it. So, you know, trying to dimple into a 70 degree angle is not easy, so you need to have the smallest nose you can find. And then apparently, once again, I disappear. So, I tried working out uh, using the uh, motion sensor aspect of this camera. So, so it's got a motion detector on it, which is great. It works five minutes, it turns off if it doesn't have motion, and then when it sees motion again, it starts recording. And it's great, and it works fine. The problem is, if you don't have it plugged in to power all the time, it won't work. Because as soon as the battery runs out and it goes off, when you turn the camera back on, the motion uh, activation setting is turned off again. So you have to go into the settings, turn it on, and then get it to go. I thought it would be a great way to have a time saver, because this is the only part of the build that's actually not... I don't want to say it's a waste of time. Making these videos is a, gr a glorious amount of... But I have to go and just kind of scan through it very quickly. You know, where where am I just gone for vast amounts of time where people can't see or hear me? Because I'm at the next door hangar, I'm in the clubhouse, and I forgot to turn the camera off. So, that's the only part of this that's not really efficient, and I was trying to increase that. But, you know, well-laid plans and all that. So after you're done, uh, I've, I went ahead and I primed everything off camera while you weren't looking. Uh, you're going to rivet the back bulkheads together along with the tie down. I'm doing a tricycle gear and I just made up my mind in this video. I'm thinking about it. Do I want a tail dragger? Do I want tricycle? You know what? I've, I've made up my mind. I'm just going to do a tricycle. Everyone kept getting me to try to make a. I, I, just, I just, I'm not. I just don't. I don't feel it yet. Maybe plane number two I can make as a tail dragger. So, anyway, that's me. Uh, so the first set's riveted. That's the second set of uh, bulkheads going towards the front. 
uh, in the next uh, video, we will just continue working on those. So I'll see you soon.